Thanks for tuning in to PR's Realm. Today I'm going to show you how to fix any chain or bracelet, regardless of what it's made out of, anything from gold to silver, fake, or even anything in between. In this case, I'm not necessarily fixing the bracelet, but the lock that this silver bracelet came with isn't very good. It's not too secure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the old lock and put a brand new lock. What I have right here are a bunch of silver and gold pieces. Some are from broken jewelry. Some I just acquired over time. Prior to the video, I took a moment to take out some silver locks. For today, I got four different size locks. In advance, I decided I'm gonna go with this one, but I figure I'll show you the differences. To fix it, you're gonna need one wire cutter. This one right here is a wire cutter. And this one right here is a wire cutter slash stripper. I don't need both, but I just want to show you some examples of what they may look like. And you're going to either need a wrench or some sort of plier. You'll need two, and I'll show you why in a few moments. Let's get to fixing, and I'm going to remove some of these because I'm going to make it simple for myself. I'm going to keep the two basic pliers and basic wire cutter. Now that I have all my supplies, I'm gonna get to fixing it. In this case, changing the lock. The reason why you need the wire cutters is to snip the lock. Some of them may be pre-snipped, this one isn't. It's not gonna hurt it. You hear a little snap. And the reason why I need two pliers is because I'm going to take one side with one and one side with the other so that I could open it. And now that I opened it, I'm going to take off the old lock, put it on the side, leave this right here because I'm going to take the new lock slide it in, perfect fit, and then back to the double pliers. And in this case, you got to make sure it's very secure because after putting in a new lock, I don't want it to just fall off. So I'm going to bend it back into place where it's lined up carefully. And then with one pliers, I'm just going to close it up. Get it as close as you can, like so, so that the new lock, or even if you were putting in a new link, doesn't fall off. And now you see, we have a brand new lock and it's much more secure, still silver. You would pay probably about 10 to 20 if you're buying the lock as well. It could be even as much as $50 for sterling silver. And if it's gold, even more. But now that you know how to do it, you could do it on your own. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for tuning in to PR's Realm. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button, leave your comments, thoughts, questions, ideas, and share this video on my channel with your friends. PR's Realm, www.youtube.com slash PRS R-E-A-L-M.